Welcome to the Vordel API Server video demo. In this video demo, we will see the Vordel Manager dashboard, we'll see API monitoring, change control for API policies, and manage deployment of policies to API servers. This is the Vordel Manager. It's a web-based console which shows you API servers which are managed within groups. Here we see DMD, Dev, and QA as three different groups. This is where we can click on a group and we can add a new gateway to the group. Here I can add a new gateway to the DMZ group. We can look at the behavior of the gateways in different ways. We can view them as here as groups. We can also view them as hosts where they're not groups. Or we can view them in a grid view where we see the four API servers. API server 1, 2, Dev, and QA as a list. Each one we click on shows the real-time monitoring for the traffic going through that. We see past messages and we see block messages that are color-coded. Here when I click on the different API servers, I can see the traffic going through them. We see the messages that passed and the messages that are blocked. What I can do is I can also go and take a look at the messages. I can see the counts of messages and the times. I can also see the APIs. Here we see our conversion API, which has 16 requests that have been passing through it. If I go up to the past messages, what I can do is click on the, the spike for the past messages, and here I can see the different traffic going through. Here I see traffic, for example, coming through to hit the API on here, which is the conversion API, and then drilling in, we can see what exactly is happening on the API server. We're taking a legacy SOAP service and we're converting it to JSON. The API server is monitoring, showing me all the steps that happen as this path is, is processed. And I can also go through and I can see as well graphing of the conversion API in action. Here we can see a spike of six messages at a particular point in time for our conversion API. What we're going to look at next is how the APIs are managed and how the API policies are created. This is the Policy Studio. You can see how different configurations, dev configuration, and an API server configuration. If I go into dev, I see various different policies. And here's our converting SOAP to JSON policy that we've just seen in action on the API server. We see the policies are configured as a sequence, as a workflow of different filters that happen one after the other. This is where I can add branching. Also, if I type in JSON, we see the different JSON filters, adding and remove nodes, doing a schema validation of JSON. Here I'm pulling in a JSON error so that I can handle false according to the JSON spec. If the message is blocked, then a JSON error is returned. When I make a change, I add in a comment. This adds a layer of governance so that you can see exactly what changes are being made to your API policies. Here I added to that tag. Now once I've made my change, what I'm going to do is deploy this change now to an API server. I hit the deployment wizard. This is where I choose the group or the particular API server that I want to push my API policies to. If I click on dev, here's my API server dev. I choose the dev configuration and I hit deploy. What happens is that my configuration of policies is now deployed to the dev API server. If I hit the deployment wizard a second time, I can see that I can choose the group here, which is the DMZ group. I decide to choose a particular configuration and I send that to the group. This means is that the API policies are sent to both of the gateways that are in this particular group. Now what I've done is I have passed the configuration to the API servers in the group. So to recap, what we've seen is the Vordal Manager dashboard. We've seen API monitoring in action. We've also seen how to implement change control for API policies. And we've seen managed deployment. For more, check out www.vordal.com.